All right, as a design engineer, let's take a look at what happened here. For residential structures like this, sheathing or those plywood panels that are installed are the things that provide lateral capacity to your structure. The studs, like three stories of them that you can see above here, are only for gravity support. They're what hold the floors up and the roof up above your heads. But those panels are the things that make sure that your buildings do not fall over laterally like you see here. In design documents that I've been a part of, typically this type of scenario is avoided by specifying that the floor below needs to be fully sheathed prior to starting framing on the floor above. In this case, that didn't happen. They built all three floors or the entire structure before providing any type of sheathing. Now, it's not all bad. You can see those diagonal members above throughout the structure. That's what's called temporary shoring. This is stuff that is installed by framers or the contractor's crew to keep the structure stable during the construction process. And I mean, we were doing from the beginning. You can see that the porta potty, if that couldn't handle the winds, then nothing could. 